how to connect a telephone distribution point or DP for a telephone intercom system. This is a telephone distribution point or DP. Let me open it up for you to see. It is basically a bridge that sits between a PABS switch and the telephone sockets. And so in this video, we would look at how to wire up this telephone distribution point or DP. Again, we would use the punch down tool to terminate the cables onto the DP. We also require the cutting plier to cut our cables. So let's see how the wiring goes. Here is a CAT5 cable, which is part of the cables we'll be using for the wiring of the DP. This end has an RJ11 connector placed on it. This end with the RJ11 plug is what we'll be connecting into an extension jack on the PBS switch. And this end will be terminated onto the distribution point or the DP. In case you want to learn how the RJ11 termination is done, you can visit an earlier video I did on how to terminate a telephone RJ11 plug. You can get a link to that video in the description of, of this very video. So let's continue. So we will connect the RJ11 plug to extension jack 1 on the PBS switch and bring this end to the distribution point or the DP. We will pass the cable through the provided holes so that when we want to close up the DP, we will not have any cable obstructing the closure of the distribution point. Now that we have this cable in the DP box, we will be placing each of the conductors at each of these points, that is point one, two, three, and four slots. So we'll be placing the cables in the order I have displayed on the screen. Striped orange, solid blue, striped blue, and solid orange. So let me place them in that order. So striped orange, solid blue comes here, the striped blue, and then the solid orange. So with the help of the punch down, I will press all the conductors down. See how I will do it. Press down, press it, press, and the last one. This is how it looks from the side of the crone or the distribution point. You can see the cable color arrangements clearly from this side. And what we have succeeded in doing is that we have successfully connected extension jack 1 to the distribution point. The next step is to connect from the distribution point to a socket where the telephone would have plugged. So we'll use this cable. I'm maintaining the color codes as always. I will pass it through the appropriate point. Here are our conductors. We will be matching them with our first terminations we did here. So we'll place the striped orange first. Followed by the solid blue. The striped blue and then the solid orange. And as usual, I will use the punch down to press them down very well. So I will start from here. The last one. Okay, here is how it looks from the side. So this side is what goes into the telephone socket for termination. It is a matter of taking the cable into the Patras box and 
wire it onto the telephone socket. I have done an earlier video on how you can terminate telephone sockets and so you can check the link to that video in the description of this video as well. And this is where a telephone will be plugged. What I have done here represents a wiring for just one telephone extension. The rest of all these extensions here can be wired in the same process until your desired number of extensions are done. In subsequent videos, I will share a major trade secret that you can engage to make your telephone cabling simpler when wiring your telephone extensions. And in that video, I will be showing a full telephone setup process. If this is your first time visiting this channel, please subscribe to this channel. Meanwhile, there are other interesting videos when you visit our channel at www.youtube.com slash at tech underscore inside underscore out. Thank you so much for watching.